Hello, you fantastic child of God. Welcome to Bible Bedtime, Season 5, Episode 262. I'm your host, Dana, and in this podcast, I read a full chapter of the Bible in a way designed to help you fall asleep in heavenly peace. In this fifth season, we are reading through the fifth books of the Old and New Testaments. Now, we've already read through Deuteronomy, and now we are reading through the book of Acts in the New Testament. After reading the chapter, I will read another full chapter from the book of Psalms. In fact, tonight I'm actually going to read two chapters from Psalms, just because the chapters are pretty short tonight. After reading from the book of Psalms, we are going to finish each episode, as is our habit, with the Lord's Prayer. And then... I like to close the episode with a dedicating prayer from Psalm 2014. If you would like to support this ad-free podcast with a love offering, we are on Venmo. You can enter at Bible Bedtime or just search for Bible Bedtime Podcast. All of the links are in the show description. And any gift of any amount does help offset the costs of producing the podcast and blesses me tremendously. Uh, This is not an expectation that you do this, but it does bless me. What also blesses me is when you reach out and say hello or share some feedback or maybe even refer someone else to the podcast. If you would like to join us on Facebook, you can look for Bible Bedtime Podcast, or you can send me an email, which I love to get, at BibleBedtimePodcast at gmail.com. Now, that's enough business. Let's settle in and get ready for a good night's sleep. Anything you have left to do today, it's not going to happen today. It can wait until tomorrow. The only thing you need to do today is end your day and fall asleep so you will be prepared for tomorrow. Night before last, for no real good reason, I had a terrible night's sleep. Uh, All of my normal tips and tricks, some of which I share with you here, none of those worked. And I ended up going to bed really early last night because all day yesterday I just was out of sorts and was not performing at my best. So I did fall asleep early last night and I first crawled into bed and felt very anxious. What if I can't sleep well again tonight? I'm so tired. (laughs) Please let me fall asleep. Please let me fall asleep. Please don't let me toss and turn all night again. And then I realized that was not a helpful way to fall asleep (laughs) because no matter how well you slept the night before or two weeks ago or how well you slept last year compared to this year the only thing that actually exists is this moment right here right now you can let go of all the rest and just be where you are right now. It is all that exists. Nothing else matters. And everything is going to be okay. 
but getting that sleep is one of the things that helps tomorrow be better. So give the gift of sleep to yourself and accept the gift. Make sure that the lights are adjusted just right to help you fall asleep. Snuggle into your favorite sleeping position. Get the covers just right over you. Nestle your head into your pillow. Now, take a deep breath through your nose. Filling your lungs with air and exhale slowly. Try to exhale through your mouth if you can. As you release your breath through your mouth, also release any tension that's in your body. Go ahead and repeat this several times and think about what it feels like, the sensation you get with every breath in and every breath out. Now, bring your awareness to the rest of your body, starting from your toes. Notice any sensations or tension, and then think about relaxing each part of your body and feel a warmth that comes with that relaxation as you slowly bring awareness upwards to the top of your body. Release the tension and feel the warmth in your feet, your ankles, your calves, your knees, your thighs, hips, your abdomen, your chest, up into your shoulders, along each arm, down to your fingers, also then your neck, your face, the top of your head and then on your next exhalation feel another wave of warmth and relaxation cascade back down your body from your head to your toes and now join me in taking three deep breaths one, two, and three. Excellent. Acts chapter 14 At Iconium, Paul and Barnabas went as usual into the Jewish synagogue. There they spoke so effectively that a great number of Jews and Gentiles believed. But the Jews who refused to believe, stirred up the Gentiles and poisoned their minds against the brothers. So Paul and Barnabas spent considerable time there, speaking boldly for the Lord, who confirmed the message of his grace 
by enabling them to do miraculous signs and wonders. The people of the city were divided. Some sided with the Jews, others with the apostles. There was a plot afoot among the Gentiles and Jews, together with their leaders, to mistreat them and stone them. But they found out about it and fled to the Lycaonian cities of Lystra and Derbe and to the surrounding country where they continued to preach the good news. In Lystra, there sat a man crippled in his feet who was lame from birth and had never walked. He listened to Paul as he was speaking. Paul looked directly at him, saw that he had faith to be healed, and called out, Stand up on your feet. At that, the man jumped up and began to walk. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they shouted in the Lycaonian language, The gods have come down to us in human form. Barnabas they called Zeus, and Paul they called Hermes, because he was the chief speaker. The priest of Zeus, whose temple was just outside the city, brought bulls and wreaths to the city gates because he and the crowd wanted to offer sacrifices to them. But when the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard of this, they tore their clothes and rushed out into the crowd shouting, Men, why are you doing this? We too are only men, human like you. We are bringing you good news, telling you to turn from these worthless things to the living God who made heaven and earth and sea and everything in them. In the past, he let all nations go their own way. Yet he has not left himself without testimony. He has shown kindness by giving you rain from heaven and crops in their seasons. He provides you with plenty of food and fills your hearts with joy. Even with these words, they had difficulty keeping the crowd from sacrificing to them. Then some Jews came from Antioch and Iconium and won the crowd over. They stoned Paul and dragged him outside the city, thinking he was dead. But after the disciples had gathered around him, he got up and went back into the city. The next day, he and Barnabas left for Derbe. They preached the good news in that city and won a large number of disciples. Then they returned to Lystra, Iconium, and Antioch, strengthening the disciples and encouraging them to remain true to the faith. We must go through many hardships to enter the kingdom of God, they said. Paul and Barnabas appointed elders for them in each church 
and with prayer and fasting committed them to the Lord in whom they had put their trust. After going through Pisidia, they came into Pamphylia. And when they had preached the word in Perga, they went down to Italia. From Italia, they sailed back to Antioch, where they had been committed to the grace of God for the work they had now completed. On arriving there, they gathered the church together and reported all that God had done through them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. And they stayed there a long time with the disciples. Psalm 43 Vindicate me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. Rescue me from deceitful and wicked men. You are God, my stronghold. Why have you rejected me? Why must I go about mourning, oppressed by the enemy? Send forth your light and your truth. Let them guide me. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. Then will I go to the altar of God, to God, my joy and my delight. I will praise you with the harp, O oh God, my God. Why are you downcast, O oh my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. Psalm 44 For the director of music of the sons of Korah, a masculine. We have heard with our ears, O God, our fathers have told us what you did in their days, in days long ago. With your hand you drove out the nations and planted our fathers. You crushed the peoples and made our fathers flourish. It was not by their sword that they won the land, nor did their arm bring them victory. It was your right hand, your arm, and the light of your face, for you loved them. You are my king and my God who decrees victories for Jacob. Through you we push back our enemies. Through your name we trample our foes. I do not trust in my bow. My sword does not bring me victory, but you give us victory over our enemies. You put our adversaries to shame. In God, we make our boast all day long, and we will praise your name forever. Selah. But now you have rejected and humbled us. You no longer go out with our armies. You made us retreat before the enemy, and our adversaries have plundered us. You gave us up to be devoured like sheep and have scattered us among the nations. 
You sold your people for a pittance, gaining nothing from their sale. You have made us a reproach to our neighbors, the scorn and derision of those around us. You have made us a byword among the nations. The peoples shake their heads at us. Disgrace is before me all day long, and my face is covered with shame at the taunts of those who reproach and revile me because of the enemy who is bent on revenge. All this happened to us, though we had not forgotten you or been false to your covenant. Our hearts had not turned back. Our feet had not strayed from your path. But you crushed us and made us a haunt for jackals and covered us over with deep darkness. If we had forgotten the name of our God or spread out our hands to a foreign God, would not God have discovered it since he knows the secrets of the heart? Yet for your sake, we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. Awake, O oh Lord, why do you sleep? Rouse yourself. Do not reject us forever. Why do you hide your face and forget our misery and oppression? We are brought down to the dust. Our bodies cling to the ground. Rise up and help us redeem us because of your unfailing love. The Lord's Prayer Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, O oh Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Amen. And now it is time for you to fall asleep and sleep well. Sweet dreams. Good night.